it'll shine light on us little people and let people know that, hey, we might be small, but we pack a powerful punch. Right. Once we on this tour, that's it. Feelings out the door. Because... That was a very, very popular show on Lifetime called, um, I think it's the Little Women of Atlanta. Yeah. And their most one of their most popular cast members was involved in a hit and run, and she tragically died yesterday. Take a look at this clip to give you some background. Ashley Minnie Ross of Little Women, Atlanta, dies at 34 after hit and run crash. Little Women, Atlanta star Ashley Minnie Ross has died following a hit and run car crash she was involved in on Sunday. She was 34. According to a statement released by Ross's management team on her Instagram account, the reality star succumbed to her injuries on Monday. It is with profound sadness that we confirm on behalf of the family of Ashley Ross aka Ms. Minnie of Little Women Atlanta has succumbed to injuries from a tragic hit and run car accident today, April 27, at the age of 34, the statement read. The family respectfully asks for their privacy as they grieve during this very difficult time. Ross's publicist, Liz Dixon, told People that the reality star had been gravely injured when the vehicle she was in collided with another vehicle near Old National Highway in Atlanta at 11 p.m. on Sunday. Known as Ms. Minnie, Ross had starred on Little Women, Atlanta since 2016. Little Women, Atlanta cast member Shirlene, Ms. Juicy, King Pearson reacted to the death of Ross on Instagram. This is too much too much, her posted read, adding, prayers for Minnie's family. Another cast member, Samantha Ortiz, took to Instagram to write, rip to it Miss Minnie Law I'm so sorry this has happened I will be praying for you and your family. Well there you have it fellas. I'll give it to you T-Strings first. I didn't know anything about the show, I think I've caught my wife watching it once or twice. But by all accounts and everything I read, this young lady was beloved. She was very young and she was a positive influence in Atlanta. What does this invoke? What kind of emotions do you feel when you hear this type of thing happen to someone so young? Well, you know, um, man, these type of, it, it happens all the time, man. You know, sad, it's sad to say, it, you know, it do happen all the time. It's just a, a, a different thing when it happens to, uh, public figures and stuff like that. Um, so I, I was never like a, uh, you know, I was never like a fan of the show, you know, w when I would watch it or, or see it, you know, I would never like go to it and click it on. But when I watch it and see it, you know, I would sort of like laugh at it and stuff like that. But, you know, to see anybody lose, you know, anybody lose their lives, uh, is always, um, you know, a tragedy, especially, you know, someone like that, that, you know, uh, got their foot in the door to, to, you know, to try to make something out themselves and then have an abrupt end, ending to their life like that. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. I, what I do hope, I, I do hope that the, um, that the, the network that sponsors that, that TV show don't try to, you know, elaborate and create a, uh, you know, some type of uh, spoof or not necessarily a spoof, but but try to create something to get ratings and stuff like that. You know how TV folks, you know, TV folks do. You, you see it uh, in hip hop Atlanta all the time. They, uh, when something go on in their li their personal lives, you know, they try to bring it to the show to sort of, amp everything up so we, we hope they won't stoop that low to do this you know it's you know it, it, it's it's bad you know i don't you know, it's you know, it's just one of the things that you know that we see we see it so much and you know all the time car accidents car accidents i'm sure uh pretty much everyone if this in here probably had a family member or someone close to us or someone that that we knew that wasn't too far removed from us that as uh that has been killed in a car accident, you know? Mm -hmm. And so yeah. in that respect, you know, when you're out driving, you have to drive for more than just yourself. You have to drive as in being responsible so that you can uh, make move necessary moves if you can uh, for the other driver as well, because everybody out there not driving with common sense. Yeah. Larry. So I'm curious, this hit and run, I don't, I'm not sure the specifics about how she was killed. I don't know if she was in another car or she was a pedestrian. And I'll, and I'll be honest with you, my first thought when I heard this, and I don't mean to be, I don't oh, want to sound boy. like I'm being funny. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hold, <laughs> hold your breath. 
See, I tried to preface it, said I wasn't trying to be funny, but my first thought was maybe the person just didn't see her oh because that took God. too short. Like oh maybe she God. just didn't yeah. raise up above the bumper or the hood or, or the car, so they just didn't. She didn't see. They just didn't see her. And when they just felt a little bump, maybe they thought they hit a pothole or something and just kept rolling. So I don't know. I mean, it's different if this person like hit her and she was in her car and then she died from the results of that injury from being in a car. That's a different story because you know when you hit a car. But I mean, I don't know if, if dude like backed up and bumped and thought maybe he just hit a pole or something and then kept going or he thought he hit a pothole and it, because he never saw her because she didn't rise up above the hood of the car. I don't know. I think um, the clip the, the clip did say she, the uh, car that she was driving was right, right, yeah, right. So she, okay, so, so, she, so she, was, she was driving. She was driving. Okay, so you got to change your story to whether or not she could see over. Oh the my God! Oh, see, oh, you God. know what? When God <laughs> rained down lightning, it's gonna get <laughs> y'all, and they ain't even got a word about it. Because I'm, I'm in North Carolina, y'all up north. He's gonna get y'all because I ain't said nothing. Oh, As a matter oh, of fact, no, I'm changing man. the story. I'm wishing the family well. I'm wishing all her followers well. And anyone whose life this young lady has touched, I'm wishing wow. her well as you try to grieve through this story. Even though we've given you a little piece of a smile, we really take this thing seriously. When we see people yeah. in our community die that we know are doing good, it bothers us. And on top of that, you all are also dealing with what's going on with coronavirus. So our hearts do go out with you. Hope you can find some peace and some laughter to help you get beyond what has happened to this young lady. So now, yeah. go ahead, Larry. No, I was just saying, it's it's a sad thing. And, you know, death is nothing to, to I'm not gonna say death is nothing to laugh at or joke at, because sometimes it is. Sometimes the best way to get over a death in the morn is to laugh and and to bring a little bit of joy into, you, into someone else's life. And, you know, I mean, if the woman got hit, she was in the car driving, that stuff is sad. It happens, like, you know, like T-Street said, it happens all the time, literally every day, dozens of times every day, all across this country, all across the world. We just don't often mention it until it's somebody that's, no, you know, that's that's uh, noteworthy. Not that we're all not noteworthy, but we're not all public figures, so. Yeah, we're not all famous.